Welcome to video 159 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC animation script. Okay, I'm going to make a new C Sharp script, and I'm going to call it NPC underscore animations. So open it up. First of all, I'll add two variables to it. That is private NPC master, NPC master, private animator, my animator. Inside of the set initial references method, I will write NPC master is equal to get component NPC master. If get component animator is not equal to null, then my animator is equal to get component animator. Now the purpose of this script is to drive the animations on the NPC. So it will listen to uh, various events. And it, as a result, it will cause uh, the animations to be triggered on the NPC's controller. So let's go ahead and add another method here. And that is void activate walking animation. If my animator is not equal to null, then if my animator dot enabled, then my animator dot set bool NPC master dot animation bool pursuing comma true. And in the next video, I'll remind you what the uh, controller looks like and also have to make a uh, small change to it as well. Uh, but let me paste in another method here. Void activate idle animation. If my animator is not equal to null, then also if my animator not enabled, then my animator dot set bool npc master dot animation bool pursuing to false. All right, the next method, void activate attack animation. If my animator is not equal to null, then if my animator dot enabled, my animator dot set trigger npc master dot animation trigger melee. And if you recall on the npc master script, I had put uh, the strings in there that are being passed in here. That's why there's a reference to npc master. And the string is there. I already defined what the default string is. You can see that on the golem already. Uh, when you look at the uh, golem, there you go, at the NPC master, you can see the bull pursuing is pursuing struck attack recovered. So those are the strings. Anyway, going back, there's another method. And this one is void activate recovered animation. If my animator is not equal to null, then if my animator dot enabled, then my animator dot set trigger npc master dot animation trigger recovered. Finally, off those methods, so void activate struck animation. If my animator is not equal to null, if my animator dot enabled, then my animator dot set trigger npc master dot animation trigger struck. Okay, going back up to the top, I need to subscribe to some events. So first of all, I'll call in onEnable. So inside of the onEnable method, call set initial references, then start subscribing. NPC master dot event NPC attack anim plus equal activate attack animation. And so of course that method is what we just wrote down here, uh, including all of the other ones that we just wrote. So the next line npc master dot event npc walk anim plus equal activate walking animation npc master dot event npc idle anim plus equal activate idle animation npc master dot event npc recovered anim plus equal activate recovered animation npc master dot event npc struck anim plus equal activate struck animation and as you know We've been calling these events in our various behavior scripts and the state pattern script. So you can just right click and find all references and see where they're being used and it'll become really clear to you what is going on. And it's so very simple that we've just written our methods here and we're just subscribing them to these events and they will just happen. Okay, so in the onDisable method, I will have the corresponding unsubscribes. And I don't need the start and update methods, so I'll just get rid of those and save this. Okay, so that should be everything. I'll just scroll through. 
uh, a bit slowly so that you can see uh, the entire script. All right, and we're almost at the end, and yes, we are. Okay, now going back to Unity, let's attach this script on. Okay, and let's try it out. Very nice, look at that, the NPC is walking. Very good. Okay, now he's seeing us and he's following along. And, ooh, ouch. So, yep, he's attacking now and he's able to attack because his animation is uh, linked up. And, of course, now you know the on enemy attack method. But we can't attack back. This is awful. So what are we going to do? I mean, this is no way to uh, play a game where the enemy is invulnerable. So he can, uh, he can basically live forever. And, well, we're going to uh, get killed. So that's no good. Of course, we have to keep on working. There's heaps more to go, heaps more scripts to write. And uh, in the uh, next um, video, I need to just edit the uh, controller on the golem. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty quick edit. And uh, what's going to happen is to just add a recovered state to it. Okay, anyway, that's enough for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.